Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create annual report cover slide in PowerPoint. You can see the image there and when I click, the image will change to the, the next image. And one more image. If you want, you can add more images there. And this slide can be used for brochure design as well. This is a multi-purpose uh, slide. And I've used this one as a black and white images as well. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, right mouse click, go to format background and change the background color to some dark gray kind of thing. Go to insert shapes, select a rectangle. make it no outline and right mouse click you can edit points select the top point and bring it up to make a kind of a curved shape and similarly for bottom also just make it something like this so it will show you something like a kind of a uh, arch go and change to gradient fill so I'm going to use a combination of red light orange and kind of white and press ctrl D and fill it with black color bring it somewhat top and say send to back and you can press ctrl D once again you can change the effect to the other side and send it to back copy all these three objects control D just bring it somewhat down and press control D to duplicate it and place it here you can delete the black rectangle or the curve shape the other one you can make it uh, somewhat gray or make it maybe a uh, black and just make it somewhat transparent level there Or if you want, you can give some different color as well. And just change the, the effect. Go to insert shapes and select a rectangle. And draw the rectangle at the bottom side, bottom of the slide. make it no outline and fill with white color and edit points make it also a kind of curved from the top and send it to back the other gray color is not visible so you can make it somewhat uh, less transparent so that it will be visible now 
go to insert shapes select rectangle one more time and draw the rectangle something like this at the left middle corner and make it no outline and you can insert one more right triangle and put it here make sure that it is aligned properly select both of these objects under merge say union so it becomes a one object now right mouse click say edit point select the top point and just move it upwards so it will create a curve shape for bottom also you can just uh, for this you can first delete this uh, unwanted point select the point and then move it up then you can use the gradient fill use the same color make some small changes make it more darker and change the direction The size is somewhat big. I'm just going to reduce the size. And the top curve also is something it's bigger. Go to insert shapes and select a triangle. Draw the triangle something like here and give it a dark color make it no outline and just using the orange pointer just bring to the left and send it to back so you can see that some the folding effect has been created so i'm going to create the same thing at the the bottom change the direction adjust it make it maybe black color and start sending it back press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side reduce the size and rotate it and copy this triangle and move it at this place and then adjust it align it and send back so you can see our design is almost ready now I'm going to insert a trapezoid trapezoid or trapezoid sorry and you can just rotate it so this will give you some more effect make it no outline and right mouse click you can edit the points or you can just change the transparency level edit points and bring to the corner
you can reduce the size somewhere like this and give the same gradient fill then start inserting the text now you can add any text here just for the sample I just say 2020 you can put 2019 as well make it a white font increase the size I'm going to use a font called Oswald this you can reduce the increase the transparency level press ctrl D to duplicate it make it no bold and then just say annual or any heading you like to have you can add it here and on the, the top right side you can add the company name and you can add the logo and the below you can add some a subtitle there so this shape looks somewhat more curved to me so I'm just going to edit the point and I'm going to reduce the size a little bit I think this is okay and then I'm going to add an image for that I'm going to insert a rectangle first select the rectangle edit the points and just reduce it from the, the top right and then you can insert any image you like to insert here and using this below offset you can increase or decrease the image make it no outline and send to back now if you see this is how the slide looks you can see it looks very perfect for the annual report cover slide now if you want you can add some more images there for that you can press ctrl D to select this image right mouse click go to format picture add some change the picture to something different picture so I'm just going to use maybe this image if you want you can make it a black and white also to them which I showed you when in the starting of the presentation bring at the outside of the slide Send it to back otherwise it will come front 
place it exactly the outside of the slide and go to animation add animation scroll down select the lines so instead of going down drag it to the left side enable the animation pane go to the properties smooth start smooth and you make it zero and bounce and you increase it and make it very fast so here i'm just going to increase only add only one image if you want you can add two three images there so if you see here the first image is there and when i click it will replace the second image that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye